everyone. It is summer in Atlanta, but it is autumn in New York, and that is the song we're going to cover today by Vernon Duke. And I'm going to do this in a locked hand style, and I haven't really played this song uh, in this style, and I haven't even played this song in like, I don't know, maybe a couple years since I've actually run through this song, but it is a beautiful song, and there's a few little kind of awkward spots in it harmonically, so I'm going to go over those. Uh, but let's, let's, let's just run through it slowly, and when I get to some spots that I think I need to talk about, I will. So I'll run through it quickly again and talk a little bit about it, um, starting with the G minor chord, just to give the listener a sense of what key we're in. And then, and you know, I'm just keeping the chord the same. There is a technique of, you know, using diminished chords on like the passing tones, but here it doesn't really work. So I'm just sticking with G minor. And you know, I'll put in ninths too. That'll always sound good. And you know, it sounds like C, but I think that's okay. And then we've got B flat, so I'll play a chord quickly and then just go right up the, the triad. And here, I want a little motion, so I'm going to go. Or, and then here, I, I could just play that and maybe hit a F major chord here, then. You know, so I played the melody note a little bit too early, and then I'm going to just come up the chords here. And then maybe again with a little chord here. And there, that motion works really nice. Um, I guess I should have been, you know, been on my melody note there. That's an A minor seventh, flat five, and it's kind of like this rootless voicing here. Not really rootless, um, but it's a good shape. And I'm just kind of using that there. And then right there. And D7 with, you know, no melody or anything. You know, you can do anything there. Tatum riff, or just go, you know, play 
play something cool or play something bluesy. And then we're not playing the melody exactly as written because I wanted to have that chord first and then I'll play the melody. You know, singers take liberties with the rhythm, so piano players can too. And I think that's clear enough. I didn't have to play the B flat chord. Let's listen to it again. here you know going to a flat there but we've got that chromatic kind of approach note there so you can do that with the chord and then another place to fill and you know nothing says you have to play everything as the locked hand style so I came down nice on my chord now I'll go back to the style and there the diminished chord does work style. And, you know, a diminished chord is just like a G7 with a flat 9. So that's cool. Fill. Now, I listened to a few recordings and I, I heard somebody just go F sharp minor 9th to G minor ninth right there. And I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if the C7 is that necessary. You know, that's, I think that's cool. So, you know, there I'm just filling in with chords, and here we've got C minor, and I'm playing the chord first, and then... Could have ended on that, I suppose. Then I feel like I have to play a D minor there just to make the tonality strong, and then E flat minor sixth, play the chord there on the tie, then run up the melody. And then here's F7. Now you might be wondering about that, but it's, you know, it, it's, it's all part of the F7 chord there. I could have put the F in there. We've got the uh, melody note, the seventh, the root, the third, melody note again. Play the flat nine. This is another awkward spot of the song. You know, I used to do something like, down that, that B flat to the A flat to the G7 and then do a 2-5-1. But I heard another good version which was just, you know, just staying on B flat minor there and messing around with the sound. And then B flat to F minor is, is pretty, and it works nice with minor chords. Lots of songs do that. So anyway, let's take that line again, C minor. And we're coming up here. And you could do uh, You know, that was some drop too. Same kind of style. We haven't had that chord in the song very much, maybe not at all. And I just want everybody to hear it, so I got the D flat in there. It gives me some nice dissonance there, too. Uh, it's pretty low here. That's like that F7 chord. And 
F minor, you can do F minor six, F minor nine, anything you want. It's a kind of a cool song. Uh, played in a Latin rhythm sometimes. My chart just went dark there. My, my iPad ran out of juice. So that's all you get. But anyway, I know people like this style, so I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, thanks for the support that I get over on Patreon and uh, through um, PayPal and all that good stuff. So thank you all. See you again soon.